We continue now with our series this season with De La Salle football. Taylor Lambert is here with the final episode as the Spartans go for a state title. Marissa, the Spartans have been here many times before. In fact, they faced Centennial three times in the title game, winning two of those games. But this time, Centennial is playing for a national title, and the Spartans are playing the role of spoiler. The season with De La Salle is presented by Dr. Charles Preston, sports medicine specialist at Muir Orthopedic Specialists, and on the sidelines with the De La Salle Spartans. <laughs> Number one, if you have a job to do, you're ready to do it. Number two, all you can control out there is your effort, and that's all we want from you. So whatever goes on out there, it can't be, could be because of lack of effort. Hang in there, stay together. Defense, be physical, and be disciplined. Offense, be physical, and be disciplined. I'm convinced that you guys are ready to go. You're going to go have, to have to go out there and prove that you're the better team tonight with physicality and discipline. And then combined, collectively, you guys will be unstoppable. The De La Salle season comes down to the next 48 minutes of football. This is what Spartans live for. Championships, state titles. All the hours on the practice field, film room, and weight training come down to the next 48 minutes of football. But it won't be easy number one team in the country stands on the other side of the field, the Centennial Huskies. Fast, physical, and that enthusiasm. Have that into a whole game long, baby. B finishes off the right way, all right? But the Spartans start off well, with a long drive capped by an Antoine Custer touchdown run. But the Huskies answer quickly. After gashing the DLS defense with running back J.J. Taylor, Centennial quarterback Anthony Catalano gets into space and ties up the game. The first time in 10 games an opponent has scored against the Spartans' first team defense. Everyone do your job! Let's go! We just keep doing our job though. All right, hey, we just got to keep doing our job. That doesn't mean we do something different now, all right? Keep doing our job out there. All broken plays. All broken plays. So keep them rallied. It's a physical first half. Centennial is living up to its billion as a top-notch squad. And the team's going to halftime, knotted up at seven. Jones, Jones, make it up now, right? Make it up now. We got 24 minutes to get this thing going. We have the hammer. We got to go out, we got to move the ball. We got to be physical. A lot of those guys are starting to tap out. Make them tap out. This is, this is what we told you. This is what we trained you for. There's nobody that can be tired or worn out or anything like that. You guys have a half of football left to play. That's why you do those, the hurt losses. Woo! That's why you do all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out there, go, go, go. Go. The Spartans are juiced to start the last 24 minutes of their season, but all the adrenaline in the world is useless without execution. De La Salle fumbles on their opening drive, and Centennial capitalizes with a touchdown. But coaches Tuffley and Alan Boss see weaknesses in the opposing defense and are ready to take advantage in the second half. No, tell those receivers 12 veer pass slow go. Number two, run the slant. Number one, down the sideline. Go tell Anthony too. And like so many times this season, the in game adjustment works to perfection. That's a nice call. That's a nice call. That's a nice call. Centennial would drive the field and take the lead once more in a wild third quarter. But on the first play after the ensuing kickoff, Antoine Custer ties it up once more. The offense is rolling, but on the next Centennial possession, the Spartan defense takes control as Nick Lopez reads the route and jumps it. To the house, Nick! Very next play, Anthony Sweeney puts De La Salle up by a touchdown.
from there, it's a string of impressive defensive plays for the Spartans. Boss Tagaloa would let no man pass the line of scrimmage, while Antoine Custer punished receivers. All the defensive stops were big, but on fourth down with just over a minute in the game left, De La Salle held once more, putting the game out of reach. After the stop, the Spartans gained a first down, then Anthony Sweeney took a knee, earning De La Salle yet another state title in a celebratory dive into the end zone. A Spartan tradition, win-winning state. This is a blessing. This is the greatest program ever. Uh, coached by the greatest coaching staff in the world, so, you know, it's just a blessing, and it's, just, it's the best way to end off a uh, four-year career, so. I'm feeling great, man. Back-to-back -back champs, you know we had to do it. We feel we winning all the way, man, for my team, man, for my family. Man, it was a lot of sucking up. I was cramping up. The other boys were bleeding. We had cuts and bruises. Pushed through it. That's what all the stuff that we did in the beginning of the season, off-season for all this. Come down to this. It was an incredible game. Our guys fought really hard. They were a great football team. No one stopped them all year and so gratifying to see our kids battle like that. And shout out to uh, my mom. First shout ball. out my mama too. Shout out Coach Ball, man. Yeah. Coach Ball, you a real one. Shout out Coach Ball. Ball. If you see this, I love you, you a real one. <laughs> No, to do what you did tonight defensively is just incredible. I mean, to, for that kind of offense, leads the state in scoring 56 points, all those guys on that team. But the heart that you showed out there tonight was one of the greatest efforts in Spartan history, and there's no doubt about it. When people say, who was one of the best defenses you ever had, I'm going to go, 2015. You, you underclassmen, you did. You witnessed, you witnessed Spartan football. And it's, it's, you guys have to understand that that's why we do all the work that we do. And to you seniors, I have to tell you, that's one of the most gratifying moments I've ever been a part of. I'm proud of you, I love you, and congratulations. You we made us you. very happy. <laughs> Live Jesus in our hearts. And don't forget the Now it's been a great season following the Spartans around all year long. Thanks to everyone at De La Salle for putting up with us and letting us see what it's like to see your greatness year after year. Yeah, great people there and nice of them to let us behind the scenes the whole season. And yeah. thanks for doing a great job. Thank you very it's much. And, and the locker room, I mean, they gave us full access. They're really great people over there. De La Salle, thank you. All right.